all trying to beat this heat. In fact, a lot of our uh, neighbors in the states are also experiencing a heat wave. Phoenix and Los Angeles seeing some toasty temperatures, but all the way up through Salt Lake City into Kalispell yesterday we were hitting about 94. I think I took the screenshot before we hit the real heat of the day. But the Mountain West has got a lot of heat right now, and some of that is leading to fires in our Pacific Northwest and Mountain West region. You can kind of see where some of them are southern Utah, several in California, a few in uh, Washington and Oregon. What this means for us as we go into today is we've got some west winds pulling in a little bit of high pressure here. I say a little bit. It's really a lot of high pressure as this kind of circulates a little bit. You'll notice the rotation of this smoke. It's going to bring some haze our direction. For the most part, we stay in this light category, so we're not looking at super heavy smoke uh, through the weekend, but we may see that change as we uh, get closer to some critical fire danger. We've got extended hot temperatures, some gusty winds today, very low humidity, so continue to be careful with fire danger, but also keeping yourself cool in this heat. Here's what we're working with today temperature wise. Some good news. It is going to be a little bit cooler compared to yesterday. I'm not forecasting any triple digits today. So there's some good news for your Thursday. It's still toasty though. Mid to upper 90s overall across western Montana. I guess Helena maybe might hit 100 degrees, but here in our viewing area, we're hoping to stay a little bit cooler. Recent temperature trends, as you've noticed, are on the up and up. Just a few days ago, we were 10, 12, 16 degrees above normal. We're still going to stay that way. All of our temperatures through possibly August are going to be above normal. But look at the trend into the weekend. This is a little promising. We've at least got a tiny bit of a downward slope towards Tuesday next week. Typically, though, we're expecting 80s this time of year, and you'll notice in the seven day forecast, no 80s in sight. It's just 90s, folks. Plenty of sunshine. So that's why I say things like keeping yourself cool and watching out for uh, human caused fires is going to be critical as we head into the next several weeks. Even Hamilton's got 90s and sunshine all the way possibly through August.